If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are News Watch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Broadcasting from the Grand Grand Castle, Castle we stay connected in the County of Lawrence, NC TV 45. NC TV 45, Newcastle, the train. Everyone's talking about NCTV45. Internet television the way you want it. Your number one media source serving Newcastle, Lawrence County, and globally. NCTV45. Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop, where smiles are everywhere. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DeCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DeCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. NC TV 45 Newcastle the train Good morning, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to Wednesday, February 3rd. Currently outside 26 degrees and 84% uh, humidity. Winds from the northwest at 9. So uh, wind chill 17, and be careful as you venture out because it is cold. Now, let's get to what's happening in and around Newcastle. As uh, a late arriving on the birthdays today, uh, I was amazed at it not being up. Usually at this time, we have a birthday list for you. And uh, that didn't happen today. So uh, we'll uh, get to it if it comes in later. And uh, let's get to the rest of what's going on. The Department of Aging Office on Long-Term Care, and this in from the state, Pennsylvania Department of Aging and Long-Term Care Obutsman announced that dates and topics for upcoming virtual family council meetings in February, February 9th, February 23rd are the two dates that they have. Um, and uh, realize that uh, long-term care sometimes becomes essential 
and uh, that's not paid for by Medicare. So uh, make sure that um, you pay particular attention to that in your uh, goings through if you need that. It, it's important to get it before because you can't get it when you need it. So um, make sure you uh, take a look at that. Go to the state website and if you type long-term care, they'll give you information on that. Pennsylvania Department of Education launches a new podcast. Uh, it's on their YouTube channel, PA Department of Ed. Each episode is designed for school leaders, educators, and stakeholders. However, all listeners are welcome. Um, this is uh, will shine the spotlight on greater public good and collective missions of education. And uh, let me uh, just kind of reiterate how important it is to, and especially at this time, be involved in your students' education. Very, very important. Now, uh, guess what just popped up? The birthdays. And uh, we did two stories, the birthdays come. Carol Izzo, Bethel, Cindy Davis, Kimberly Cook, Angelina DeMonico, or Dominic, Angelina Dominic, Stephanie Hobble, Michael Kimona, and Alexis King. Get that second piece of birthday cake. And usually that's at the beginning. And now we got it in the middle. Well, now that took some uh, doing. <laughs> State Representative Aaron Bernstein. 198,000 in strategic management going to Beaver Falls, the city of Beaver Falls. This is great news. It'll help in consulting services, codification of ordinances, computer engine, computer IT systems, engineering, code enforcement, and consultant services. So hats off to Beaver Falls and Mr. Aaron Bernstein for coming up with that. This um, very uh, important uh, to those people on PEUC and PUA. The site still says under maintenance and construction they're asking for patient being patient to uh, be able to get through on that site that has become quite a mess now uh, let's uh, head over to sports and last night it was Toronto 123 Orlando 108 in men's college basketball West Virginia topped Iowa State Baylor beat Texas and it was Ole Miss 52-50 over Tennessee. Two-point game, and Tennessee's ranked number 11. We're going to go to the Cedar Sports Corner and uh, talk more about this. Now, the one thing I want to tell you is that the Canes, 93, or, yeah, 93-58, uh, they won. 35-point win. Hats off to West A. They could shoot the three, but the Canes just really taking care of business, and uh, it was impressive. So um, we're going to go to that, and on the website, I will have the games up. I'm going to try and post those for you today. Now, we'll be right back after sports. Buongiorno! Yes, it's two fat guys in an oven with their great Italian pastries, bread, pizzas, 
pizza, sandwiches, everything you could imagine at Two Fat Guys in an Oven. They're great for lunch, great for take home, and great for any time. You just want to get away and get something to eat, get that cup of coffee, and that great treat. Two Fat Guys in an Oven, give them a try. These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, Town and Country, and On Target. Hi friends, I'm Gary West. And whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner and let's get to college basketball action. 6 o'clock ESPN Plus, St. Bonaventure at St. Joe's. Now uh, also Fordham will be at UMass at 6. 7 o'clock. Virginia Tech at the University of Pittsburgh and uh, hopefully the Panthers get on track and that on the ACC network that bops you in to uh, the 8 o'clock hour at 8 o'clock Vanderbilt at Texas A&M that on the SEC network and um, closing out your uh, your nightcap, number three Villanova will be at St. John's CBS Network Sports Network. So uh, that's uh, your college basketball. As you get to hockey and uh, the monitor takes its good old time. The Pittsburgh Penguins have uh, dropped uh, two in a row and uh, really uh, kind of having a rough time. So they'll take today off. And uh, your hockey, Detroit will be at Tampa Bay, 530, on NBC Sports Network. Over in the NBA. Your Wednesday looks like this. Two games on tap for television, and that would be Indiana at Milwaukee, ESPN. That's at 7. And then at 9.30, Phoenix at New Orleans. So uh, go over to Cedars, get some great food, enjoy the games. We're going to take a time out. We'll be right back after this. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Alley's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu. Pizza, roll-ups, salad, soup, sandwiches, strombolis, dinners, 
They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Allie's Upper Crust. And we're back on this chilly morning, 28, 26 degrees. We lost two degrees outside, and uh, let's um, keep going. Uh, state police, uh, they've been doing these investigations to make sure, uh, <laughs> under the direction of Tom Wolf. To make sure that uh, everybody's complying, 533 checks, 19 dose of violation. Now you're not even getting a large percentage. Required to wear masks, stay six feet apart, ensure occupancy limits. That's what they're doing. Most of the problems were out east, not in the west. Contact tracing. Um, <laughs> they're giving you this. Please answer the phone uh, to to monitor the effects of Pennsylvania. It's urged to answer the phone and download the app. A lot of people must not be doing it. That's why they put that out. Department of Revenue was off 5.8 percent in January as uh, they collected less money, and that was easy because everybody was shut down. Pennsylvania extends uh, the deadline for campaign financing due to the storm. It's uh, the report will be due the 5th of uh, February, as uh, that's... Um, just released the other day, and the weather's going to be cold this weekend, so uh, not a whole lot of snow. We'll get to that in Lawrence County 45 weather. And um, Governor Wolf got rid of his Secretary of State because she didn't put something on the ballot, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, she The most important thing that they were upset about was the presidential election and uh, she missed uh, trying to extend for victims. I, they wanted a yes or no on the ballot. So now it's got to wait two more years. Humidity, 84%. The temperature, 26 degrees outside. Winds are from the northwest at 9 Bar barometric pressure not available, dew point 22, visibility 10 miles, and 17 degrees is the wind chill. Now, we're going to uh, go to Lawrence County 45 weather. We'll be right back. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. Run it again at Wendy's lunch. Run it again with hot dogs, fries, burgers, and much more. For the point, two point conversion, try those daily specials. Run right in and you won't need to move the car to score and win this lunch. Enjoy the game, just right for lunch or any time. It's Lindy's Lunch, 2402 Wilmington Road, Newcastle. The Crane Room is a restaurant. The Crane Room is a bar. The Crane Room is a banquet facility. 
The restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room, located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanti Township. Call 724-656-1553. BSB. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSB has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSB. Big Shot Bobs will be your favorite place. Just like me. Hello and welcome once again to, yes you got it, Lawrence County 45 weather. After last night's cloudy low of 23, how is your Wednesday looking? Well, looking at that local radar, you see some breaks way out to the west, but to the north and west you see precinct. That's going to make for an interesting couple of days. So you get the clearing, and then you get the preset. And here you go. Last night, 23, under cloudy skies. Your Wednesday, cloudy, gradually becoming Sunday. sunny. Sunny, <laughs> not Sunday, sunny. Put a little weekend in your week there. 34. Winds will be from the northwest, 8 to 11 miles an hour. And then Wednesday night, partly cloudy, a low of 14. Cuddle alert in effect. It will be cold, folks. Your Thursday, 38 and sunshine. That's great. Then we get a change. Thursday, rain possible mixed with snow showers. Low okay of 29 Thursday night 90 percent chance of the precept and I told you it was coming Friday cloudy 36 40 percent chance of precept it starts out of snow very wet goes to rain and you get to Friday night mostly cloudy and 16 cuddle alert again Saturday sunshine 29 takes us a while to get there and then Saturday night mostly cloudy 14 <laughs> and you see those cut alerts just keep coming Sunday cloudy 24 now the chance of precip is 40 percent and then as you go through the day the temperature starts to fall Sunday night mostly cloudy a low of two yeah Two, like in, that's a severe cuddle alert. And then you go into your Monday, partly sunny and 15. So the temperature, we're on a slide here, folks. In uh, winter in western Pennsylvania, a whole lot of fun. Now, that was Lawrence County, 45 weather. <laughs> Grab that blanket, have that cut all alert. We'll be back right after we hear from these great people. Great dining experience. 
Hello, Hello friends, friends and it's Los Amigos. Uh, let me tell you what, great food. Whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice friendly atmosphere. Stop by, tell them NCTV45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. Peppers, mouth-watering fruit, fine dressings, apples, meats. This place looks so familiar, everyone in Newcastle has to know about it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up, right in downtown Newcastle. Look at those fine lunch meats and ethnic foods. Yes, it's Joseph's. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com There's more than me I've got a gift of a new castle I try There's a small town for living Look around Well, we're back. A um, couple notes. Yesterday, uh, the state released that there were 4,400 new cases, 3,280 hospitalized, 650 patients in intensive care. That works out to one in four. Uh, the Department of State uh, releases COVID enforcement actions yesterday. Uh, this um, pertaining to in the uh, information on meetings that were occurring, uh, I don't know how they figured that out. And uh, Governor Wolf proposes a plan to cut taxes for families investing in education and work development uh, so uh, investment means he's actually raising his taxes so that's like kind of an oxymoron now um, let's tell you this make sure you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45 they'll be glad you did and when they say I don't watch a lot of TV you tell him what Gary always says. NC TV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Yes, that's right. That's NC TV 45. We're available anytime on your time. Now, make sure that you get that second cup of coffee. 
and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.